Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Morten. I mean, I was just about to start preparing my cooking for my family this evening. And then uh, just an hour ago, a uh, press release ticked in from our good friends at Müller Martini and Hunkler in Switzerland. And uh, freaking breaking news, to be honest. Uh, news that can have consequences way beyond uh, a lot of things. And I just wanted to give my little input on, on what is actually going on right now. So first, let's what is, uh, what is the press release about? The press release is about that uh, uh, Hunkler has been acquired by Müller Martini. And as such, that is not such a big surprise because if any company should acquire Hunkler, uh, Müller Martini is definitely a, a worthy acquire, so to speak. First of all, few miles from each other, uh, 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 relations that go uh, uh, centuries back. Uh, uh, as you know, Hunkler celebrated the 100 years anniversary last year. And uh, if Müller Martini doesn't go back as much, uh, I think it's even longer, uh, in the, both in the pursuit of making cars and rifles and a lot of other things, and then ending up being, let's see, one of the superior um, manufacturers of uh, binding equipment in the industry. So uh, having, and I mean, I even think that they have family ties even today. Um, so it, I mean, from that perspective, not a super big surprise. One of the things, of course, you can always think about is what does it mean for customers and what does it mean for the market? And um, uh, that is uh, it's a little bit more tricky question because, uh, of course, I hope to at some point to have a chat with uh, uh, Falker Leonhardt uh, from uh, the CEO of Müller Martini. The first information that uh, we got and the market got was basically that the two companies will uh, continue with the same staff, with the same, I mean, Hunkler Innovation Days, as a lot of us are interested in, it will keep existing and, and be something that we can look forward to in, in uh, 2025. But there's a few things that I was like thinking of, what happens in the industry? Because if you think of this for a second, Müller Martini has their own distribution in, for example, America, North America, right? And uh, Hunkler has been distributed for years with Standard Finishing together with Horizon, right? But now the situation is that uh, Horizon and Müller Martini is probably the two biggest competitors to each other. So will, what will now happen? Will Hunkler be distributed by Müller Martini in the future? And what will that do to standard finishing? What will it do to Horizon? And uh, just think of this for a second. It can have pretty big consequences because also I think there's a quite a few of the tech now installations that have been uh, combined with uh, equipment also from Müller Martini but now Müller Martini is also uh, selling and, and producing and, and, and the owner of the, the hardest competitor to tech now namely the Honkler thing so I think the dynamics in the market will change quite a lot uh, because of this acquisition here. Uh, I, of course, think it's super good for the family, uh, the two families, because I think that Müller Martini has already been in a, a huge restructuring over the years. I remember I spoke to uh, both Adrian and to uh, Falker at uh, Müller Martini just before the Hong Kong Innovation Days. Uh, and it just reminded me that Müller Martini in the past was a way bigger company, also had to adjust to the uh, let's say the current time that are a little bit different than it used to be, you know, back in the good old days, right? Um, so, so of course, th I think that I think this is a brilliant move, and I think it's it's great that two s fantastic companies like Müller Martini and and Hunkler uh, join forces because I think it will be an advantage for the customers uh, in the future. Uh, I think it is uh, definitely also. Uh, a huge potential for Müller Martini because with the digital transformation and and the use of uh, uh, more and more companies using inkjet devices and more and more printers in the future probably will uh, there will be a huge demand for 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 the technology that can be delivered as let's say Hunkler Müller Martini solutions where you basically don't need anybody else in in that equation. Um, it will also probably give tighter uh, integration opportunities as uh, both companies are 
uh, working uh, uh, really deep into books of one to production of one to also starting to become like competitors in some few segments but that will of course be eliminated now so that basically means that that the 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 the, the products developed by both companies will probably be aligned uh, so they fit uh, the market needs and instead of having a competitor two miles down the road now you have a very good friend where you can share resources and share ideas and innovation and uh, I can't help think about that just two days ago I wrote a short notice on English news about uh, Honkler receiving the IH set uh, innovation uh, prize uh, in in Switzerland for the 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 Starbuck plow folder and and again it's it's just amazing what happens right now so uh, just a few speculations I have to do my cooking right now but I just thought it could be fun to oh, very fast and very uh, let's say initial analysis of the situation and uh, for the market i think it's a great opportunity uh, for standard finishing and 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 uh, I'm, I'm curious to see the response from you guys uh, uh, and I, all i have said to now is uh, pure speculations i just I think they're quite logic in the sense that if you acquire a company like Hunkler and you have your own uh, sales and distribution and service organization in America, you also have Andy Featherman, which is uh, the CEO of, of uh, Müller Martini America, a great guy with uh, many years, uh, a member of the organization and really understand the market. Why wouldn't you take advantage of that? So maybe not now, but I would think that it's a logic move to to think about, and that leaves, of course, uh, companies like uh, Horizon. Should they have their own distribution? Should they uh, maybe even acquire Standard Finishing if it's for sale? Uh, I mean, it everything is turned upside down, and uh, I can't help think about how uh, how exciting these changes are and what it means for the industry. As always, I think that uh, these kind of, uh, let's say, consultations in the industry uh, is a huge advantage for the industry and for for the customers. And that will bring better products to the market, uh, more competitive price, because that is what it needs when you have competition in the market. And maybe even new players in the market will will uh, occur after uh, these announcements. Uh, exciting times, but of course today, a glass of champagne and a warm, not warm, but a nice uh, chill toast to uh, all the employees of both Müller Martini and Hunkler, as well as the families behind the company that took this bold uh, decision. And I can't remember if I mentioned that in the beginning of this video, but I, it was kind of funny because at Innovation Days, I said to Michel Hunkler for fun, I said to him, you should merge with uh, with uh, Müller Martini because that would make sense. And uh, I don't think they took my advice, but I think the logic was there already. And uh, again, congratulations, guys.